How are we doing? It is Sunday afternoon. I've got this eight and a half tonner. Um, if you remember from Thursday's video, I mentioned it, um, but it was all right on the Friday, so we never came in on a look at it. Uh, it's conked out. He's dragged it from over there to here, um, and it just keeps on cutting out. I've got the ignition on. That electric lift pump seems to be pumping, or at least it's vibrating, but as you can see, this is the fuel feed into the uh, injection pump and there's no fuel there so I've got a fuel blockage we'll see if it's from the tank into this filter or this filter head into the lift pump um, should be fairly straightforward so uh, just hang with me and we'll get a solution I've got my helper he's getting his tools so I've got a good fuel feed coming from the tank so I'm going to strip this filter and uh, see what's blocked up so this is the machine we serviced about four weeks ago. The filter's fair clart up. Um, pull the chunk of muck out, and this is the fuel shut off tap. See, it's all blocked up with muck inside there. Where's the camera at? Can't really see, but you can see there's muck there. Anyway, we'll clean this filter head out. So that's the filter head all cleaned out. What I'll do now is I'll just jump in the cab turn the ignition on let that electric lift pump pull some fuel from the tank into here and hopefully we'll see it absolutely pouring out of there in a couple of minutes right we've got a good flow of diesel coming out of that pipe now i'll put it back on the high pressure fuel pump and i would expect the machine should start right away right there we go that's it running and um, sure enough we had to give it a little uh, kick up the backside, but i'll take it away now i'll leave it running for half hour we'll have a bit scratch about with that stone and just run it make sure it's not going to conk out again yeah nice little breakdown happy days morning all it's monday morning welcome back um yeah what am i doing today what am i doing today uh day two DX27s is the goal for today. Uh, South Cumbria, I've got one which needs uh, metal hitch pipes replacing on the boom or on the arm, and another uh, needs a right hand joystick. So um, that's the goal for today. I've also got a wiper motor and wiper arm for a loading shovel on the van. With a bit of luck, if the jobs go well today, I might get that one squeezed in too, but we'll just have to see. Um, so I've been a bit delayed this morning. It seems that every road in and out of Carlisle has got major roadworks on. So a 15, 20 minute journey into town this morning took me 35 minutes. Um, so that puts everything behind. And then obviously you've got to get out of Carlisle and that puts everything behind. So anyway, I'm just down the motorway and uh, it's 10 o'clock, so the day's already getting away on us. Um, also, I had to sort out a lot of stuff from um, earlier in the week as well, or last week, so uh, yeah. Right, we'll point the van in the right direction and we'll try and get as much done as we can. So, first job, um, this DX27 is a uh, manifold block that sits down here for the quick hitch um, the bolts came out so far and then it pulled them out so the threads are knackered in there and it's damaged the steel pipes that run up to about here so um, first job is to remove this temporary fix that the fella had made and then um, I'm gonna need to try and drill out those studs hopefully for where the clamps sit and then uh, Hopefully we'll sort something out down here, whether we'll have to just drill it slightly higher up. Um, yeah, that's the job today. Right, I got the uh, clamp studs extracted, thankfully. Um, I use these, I don't even remember where I got them from, but they're very good. You just drill out a hole and with the shape of them, basically the tighten you turn them with a, an adjustable spanner the tighter they take a bite and they do a really good job. You can just sort of see the mark that it's made inside the hole where it's got a bite. That was just with that little one. So I'll run this 8mm tap through it now. Yeah, 
clean up the threads and uh, we'll be able to put that clamp and the two new hoses, uh, two new pipes on and then I'll be able to get a position of where that's to sit and drill some fresh holes for that. So the bolts that hold this manifold block onto the bottom of the boom are usually M10s, which is a 17mm head. What I've found is the M12 bolts have a nice snug fit in there. Um, so instead of re-drilling and tapping the boom and having two holes there, I've drilled the boom out to drill those holes out to 11 mil and tap them to M12s. So I'll reuse the holes just with slightly bigger bolts. Keeps the block in the same place. I know from experience that if you start moving the block up and down the boom, when you because it's such a small machine, when you crowd the ram all the way out, so fill the bucket all the way, the chrome will come very close to the block. Um, and also vice versa, when you empty it all the way, it'll get pretty close as well. So I've had a good tidy up and uh, I've re tap these holes. I'm going to use these cap head bolts to run that in. So I'm ready now to put my new pipes and my block on. Oh, it's a Monday. You can tell um, this is the new pipe. Apparently there was only one option for the pipe. And too short. That should be clamped in there. They're about three or four inches too short. Completely different. I should have looked at this before I started, but completely different to the originals, minus that bend there. Far too short, look. Really annoying, because now we might get the right ones, but if I'd have got everything done that I wanted to do down here today, then I'd have got all my work cleared up down here. So to come back down here is a... Never mind. It is what it is. <sighs> I will crack on and tidy up and head to the next one. Right, I'm gonna go and do this shovel. I've had enough of plumbing DX27s. Um, I'm gonna do a shovel because <laughs> I'll come back down basically the 27 the other 27 that I have to go to it's sort of on the way to the shovel and um, so if we're gonna do this shovel get that one furthest away out of the road that'll put the rest of the day in and then when I come back to put them two plumbing pipes on I can just nip 15 minutes over by there and uh, put that joystick on it's not the end of the world so right where do I go I'm lost right I'm at my load and shovel I nipped out the van there just to uh, sign in it's like winter out there it is so cold I'm not cold 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 but cold enough <laughs> I don't want to get out the van again <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I've been on and off the phone as well to parts and struggling to identify these quick hitch hoses. It does only give one option. Um, so he's had to get in touch with Doosan to uh, try and discover the correct pipes. Um, the only thing I can see is there's two different arm lengths. I know that one's a long arm um, and obviously that makes the difference. Um, but it doesn't appear to give an option in the parts list for long arm variants so that's obviously the issue anyway um, I would like those bits, those two pipes for tomorrow and I can come back down here and do me other 27 and sort those pipes out but um, I have a feeling I'm going to have to jiggle things about I've had a couple of calls on the way down here um, and I've got a job that needs done on Wednesday uh, that'll be most of the day and so what I had planned on Wednesday would then be pushed back till Thursday but if I can't get the bits for tomorrow for the 27 then I'll pull that job from Thursday forward to tomorrow. There's a lot of jiggery pokery to be going on. 
Anyway, enough wobbling on. I'll, uh, I hate to do it. Don't particularly enjoy doing front wiper motors on these shovels. They're not just handy to get at. If I'm gonna do it, I am gonna do it. Lacking motivation. <laughs> So, I suppose half the time I'll be in the cab. Um, problem is, is the splines have stripped on this front wiper arm. And it's also damaged the splines on the wiper motor. That's the new position of the wiper motor, the wiper arm. Um, the reason why they're a bit of a pain, they're just really hard to get to. Right in behind there, all of that stuff. So, yeah. I'll get my waterproof leggings on. Start making a mess with a screwdriver. Out what was clicking, I've knocked the blooming hazard lights on. Um, yep, yeah, there's the wiper motor there. Uh, all you need is that cover off, but to get that cover off, you take all the dash out. Marvellous. Right, next bit is outside, 213 mil nuts, pull that wiper arm off, chuck it in the bin, and uh, it should just fall off after that. Lovely. There we go, that's the motor off. Um, yeah, you can see the splines are all chewed up. There's nothing for the arm to bite on, so the motor will be turning and the wiper arm won't be. And it'll just get worse and worse and worse, so do away with that. Put a new one on. Right, I'd be able to explain this to you a lot better if it wasn't absolutely miserable out here. Um, but I'll have a go. So you've got this plate here with this sort of dummy spindle, if you like. Um, so that's for the second part of the arm. That just spins and that's just on the bearing in this plate here. You've got like an M6 bolt that goes through into the back of the wiper motor. And this is the motor itself. So you push the motor through, but obviously the motor just wants to sit down like that. So my top tip is to run the locking nut on and then with your spanner you can turn it so you're turning the wiper motor in there up the way so you've got all your holes lined up run that on in and then you can run the big nut onto here and tighten everything up but uh, i remember the first time i did that i really really struggled <laughs> because your arms aren't long enough to reach around into the cabin onto there I was forced to use my brain. Right, let's uh, get this wiper arm on and then I'm finished with the outside work. <laughs> the oh, you wouldn't want to be out there doing much, would you? <laughs> That's that wiper fixed anyway. Time is. 17 minutes past three, although I did notice this morning, oh, it's right now, that clock down there was about 15 minutes behind for some reason. Because um, I was going to ask you, how do you sort that? I can't see in the dashboard in here, anywhere, how to uh, set the time in this thing, settings. Oh, wait there, <laughs> time and date, <laughs> scrap that. <laughs> I found it but I don't know why it was 15 minutes behind this morning and it's caught up with itself. Anyway, right, I'm going to leave it at that for today. Um, just a short little video. Monday mo Monday videos generally are a little bit shorter than usual but according to the YouTube analytics, the attention span of most of my viewers is only about 10-15 minutes so maybe it'll, maybe it'll uh, suit folk more having a shorter video. 
Um, like the video that I put out yesterday, which was Sunday, and the video that I put out on Friday night, that should have been one video because it was just, you know, the Thursday and Friday. But um, when I put all the clips together, it was over an hour long. So I thought I'll just split the two days in half. Um, because I mean even, I mean I would say an hour is too long but I try and keep it below half an hour where I can um, so yeah right I, I am going to uh, turn the heating up in this van put on a good podcast and uh, head home for the day um, looks like Dan the man might have found us a couple of quickage pipes for this little mini digger whether or not we'll get them tomorrow is well, you'll have to find out, won't you? Bit of a cliffhanger ending. Right, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like. And uh, there's a little red button that says subscribe. Give that a little tick as well. And uh, then we're all winners, aren't we? Right, see you tomorrow. Have a good evening.